This is Tanks Vlog, July 23rd, 2018, wrapping up today in sports. Ciao, Francesco! Yes, that's right. For the first time ever, an Italiano has won a major championship, capturing the Open Championship in Carnusti. Yes, that's right. He is the British Open Championship. Yeah, I said it, the British Open Championship. British Open, British Open, British Open, British Open. Although for a magical period, a brief moment, Tiger Woods had the lead. And great day, great tournament by Tiger Woods. It's the first time he's finished in the top ten in a major in a long time. And I think even though he lost, I think Tiger proved he's once again a contender. So, in a way, it's a victory for Tiger, although he's not happy how he finished. Uh, he went uh, finished the day with a par, 71, after starting the day with a uh, going two under, under the front nine, but he had two bogeys on the back nine, which, uh, with the three bogeys, actually. He had one birdie, but he had, didn't have a good back nine. Had some bad shots, some shots that were definitely off target, and... His playing partner actually was Francisco Molinari. And Molinari just played steady, no bogeys, and it was a tough course today. Uh, of the four days, today was the day Carnusti turned back into Carnasty, digging its teeth into the golfers. Uh, some of the top leaderboard, people at the top leaderboard who were uh, in front did not have good Sundays. Uh, Spieth struggled. Kevin Kisner struggled, <clears throat> but Tiger uh, finishing uh, with a minus five uh, in that uh, tied for sixth place. We had four golfers tied at second. Uh, among the golfers who finished uh, second were uh, Kevin Kisner, Rory McIlroy, Justin Rose, who finished strong, and uh, Xander Schifali. Uh, Schifoli and Kisner both started the day at minus nine and did not have good Sundays. But there you have it. It's it. Uh, I think Tiger proclaimed he's back. I don't know if he'll win another major, but he's definitely now another major player again. And I think that's really good news for golf. But uh, Francisco Molinari, your first champion of a uh, major from Italy. So that's also good. Molinari looks like he's... He looks like he'll be a player that's going to be around for a while. I think uh, he's uh, 36, but I guess as uh, the old commercial goes, as he gets older, he gets better. So, ciao, Francesco. Congratulations. Uh, he's, from, he's from Torino, Italy, which is famous for the shot of turn and hosting the 2006 Winter Games. And now we have just one major left, and it'll be the final time when the PGA is played in August that the PGA is played in August as the tournament moves to May, starting in 2019. By the way, uh, Mets were rained out today, but they still found a way to embarrass themselves. What the hell is going on in this organization? Can somebody please tell me? Can someone please explain to me? How does Noah Syndergaard go to a camp? Hey, we have kids, we have major leaguers going to camps all the time. But only Noah Syndergaard gets sick enough to be put on the disabled list with hoof and mouth disease. How? How do these things happen to this team? What? What do? What, what did they do? What did the Mets do to deserve this? And then we got Jonas Cespedes, who can't play today. He wouldn't have played today if they would have played because his heel is hurt. But the Mets are saying, we don't want to give him surgery until the last minute. In other words, they're going to wait until the offseason so he misses the whole damn 2019 season. This team is so stupid. So, so stupid. If he needs the surgery now, get it so he doesn't miss all the 2019. Are you that stupid? Are you really that stupid? I mean, cut. Oh, don't answer that. 
Don't answer that because you are that stupid. This team is incompetent. This team is New Jersey Transit. In fact, I'm starting to think that everyone that works on the Mets, Mickey Calloway, John Rico, were so incompetent that even New Jersey Transit won't hire them. <sighs> Un freaking real. So, Mets Yankees will play another ring makeup game in a few weeks on August 13th. <sighs> I have. I'm just lost for words. In <sighs> games that actually were played in a uh, doubleheader uh, today in Philadelphia, the Padres and Phillies split a pair with the Padres winning the first game 10-2 to and the Phillies winning the nightcap 5 to nothing. It was the Blue Jays edging the Orioles 5-4. to four. The Red Sox bounced back from a loss Saturday to beat the Tigers 9-1. to one. The Pirates remain red hot. Clobbering Matt Harvey. Clobbering Matt Harvey, yes, they did. Ninth straight win for the Pirates as they beat the Reds 9-2. to two. It was the Rays edging the Marlins 6-4. The Nationals were 6-2 winners over the Braves. The Dodgers clobbered the Brewers 11-2. The Royals were 5-3 winners over the um, Twins. Six, uh, over the Twins. It was the Cubs 7-2 winners over the Cardinals. The Rangers uh, blanked the Indians 5-0. It was the Angels 14-5 winners over the Astros. The A's rallied to beat the Giants, as the A's are red hot now, and making a serious push for the second wild card. And the Mariners holding them off, though, at the moment, beating the White Sox 8-2. to two. Diamondbacks beat the Rockies 6-1, to one, as Zach Grinke struck out a season-high 13 batters. Today's three stars are... Vince Velasquez, who had allowed just two hits, seven innings in seven innings, as the Phillies won the nightcap in their doubleheader against the Padres. It was Zach Greinke, is our second star, who had 13 strikeouts, pitching eight innings, allowing one run on two hits against the Rockies, and Chris Sale, who only went six innings but struck out nine, and only allowed two hits. As the Red Sox are trying to save some gas in that uh, tank of Chris Sale. Hoping to avoid what happened last year in his uh, September slump. Today's birthday shout out goes to the glove, Gary Payton, who turns 50. And we take a look back to 1978 when things came to a boiling point in the Bronx as Billy Martin was forced to resign after making a statement that. Reggie Jackson was a born liar, and George Steinbrenner was a convicted lion. Now, of course, things will go get even crazier as the Yankees hired Bob Lemon, and a couple days later announced that Billy Martin will be back in 1980. One of the strangest episodes of the Billy Martin affair. So check out the story at Barstool Sports, and at Sports Encyclopedia, where Sports History Lives, and let me give you a word of advice. If you're going out in the sun... Always use sunscreen. You may not get a lot out of life, but always use sunscreen. Now that includes your freaking head, which I didn't realize because I got a sunburn. You see? This is why it sucks going bald. 
I never realized that you could actually get a sunburn on your head so easily. All I know is I just feel like a burn right here, right where that, right where there is no hair at all. There's, it's, it's where the retreat is gone. The hairline goes backwards. Retreat, retreat, retreat. But it's easy. You just spray on your head. It's not like the old creams. But always use sunscreen. And next time I'm in Stu's pool, I better make sure that I use the sunscreen on the head. My arms are fine. Maybe I got a little burn over here where I might have missed the spot. But everything else on my body, my chest, no burn, no burn. But on the top of my head, ouch. Good day.